The countdown clock for Starship Flight 8 has been reset. What seemed like a sure launch on February 26 has now shifted, as Elon Musk himself revealed a new target date just days before liftoff. Behind this schedule adjustment lies a flurry of activity at Starbase. Hardware preparations still underway, mysterious back and forth movements of crucial components, and round the clock testing of launch infrastructure. While Flight 8 faces this brief delay, elsewhere in the SpaceX empire, milestones continue to fall. The Falcon rocket family just achieved its 450th successful mission, a testament to the revolution SpaceX has unleashed in the launch industry. Meanwhile, another batch of Starlink satellites has pushed the constellation past the 8,000 satellite mark, transforming global connectivity as we know it. But not all news from space is cause for celebration. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye on the cosmos, now faces potential budget cuts of up to 20%, threatening to limit what we can discover about our universe. What's causing the Starship delay? How significant are these SpaceX milestones? And what might budget cuts mean for our window to the stars? This is Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. Just days ago, SpaceX enthusiasts worldwide had their calendars marked for February 26. The FAA had given their preliminary approval, and everything seemed set for a Wednesday afternoon spectacle that would push humanity's journey to Mars one step further. But space exploration follows its own timeline, and now we're looking at Friday, February 28th for this next giant leap. Elon Musk personally confirmed this schedule adjustment late yesterday, pushing the launch date back by just 48 hours. This falls squarely within the previously announced backup window, meaning all the carefully orchestrated observation conditions remain intact. The launch window is still expected to open at 5.30 p.m. Central, giving us optimal visibility of both stages as they attempt their respective landings. But why the delay? The answer lies in the meticulous preparation required for a vehicle of Starship's complexity. At Starbase right now, a carefully choreographed dance is underway. Ship 34 remains at the production site where technicians are completing the final installations of its flight termination system, the critical safety mechanism that would destroy the vehicle if it veered off course. Additionally, teams are working around the clock to install the payload dispenser in the simulated Starlink satellites that will test deployment mechanisms needed for future operational missions. Booster 15's journey has been even more intriguing. The hot staging ring, a crucial component that enables Starship's unique engine ignition sequence, has made multiple trips between Mega Bay 1 and Star Factory. On February 19th, the ring arrived at Mega Bay 1 and appeared to be installed. But on the morning of the 21st, it was unexpectedly sent back to Star Factory. Then on the 23rd, it returned to Mega Bay, only to be transported back to Star Factory hours later. This unusual movement suggests engineers discovered issues requiring additional work or modifications. Perhaps tolerance measurements were off by fractions of a millimeter, or testing revealed potential weaknesses. With a vehicle pushing engineering boundaries, such refinements are not just expected, they're essential. Meanwhile, the flight termination system for Booster 15 awaits at the launch site, ready for installation once the hot staging ring saga concludes. Only after both stages are fully prepared will they be transported to the launch site for integration testing, followed by a comprehensive series of checks before final launch clearance. Given these remaining tasks, the two-day delay makes perfect sense. It's not a setback, but rather an adjustment that maintains SpaceX's remarkable pace while ensuring mission success. Launch Infrastructure, the unsung hero. While all eyes focus on Starship itself, equally impressive work continues on the ground systems that make launch possible. The massive launch tower's chopsticks, those mechanical arms designed to catch returning boosters, undergo daily testing cycles. Engineers put them through rigorous lifting, lowering, opening, and closing sequences to ensure flawless operation when it matters most. The tower itself has received additional cladding to protect its systems from the extreme forces of launch. Meanwhile, new pumps are being installed at the tank farm, strengthening the fuel loading infrastructure that will channel thousands of tons of liquid oxygen and methane into Starship's tanks. Beyond SpaceX's immediate control, other agencies are finalizing their preparations as well. 
Cameron County has issued road closure notices specifically for flight activity on February 28th, aligning perfectly with the new launch date. The FAA has released notices to airmen, NOTAMs, detailing the designated landing zone for Ship 34 in the Indian Ocean. Navigational warnings have been issued to maritime traffic, and observation ships have been departing port regularly, preparing to monitor and support the mission. Despite the slight delay, the excitement surrounding Flight 8 remains electric. Launching on the final day of February, it will mark an incredible turnaround of just 43 days since Flight 7, demonstrating SpaceX's rapidly increasing launch cadence. This is a clear signal that 2024 will be a year of unprecedented progress for Starship. Falcon's Incredible Milestone While Starship captures headlines with its sheer scale and ambition, the workhorse Falcon rocket family continues to shatter records and redefine what's possible in orbital launches. On February 21st at precisely 10.19 a.m. Eastern, a Falcon 9 thundered skyward from Space Launch Complex 40, carrying another batch of satellites to orbit. The mission's booster, designated B-1076, completed its 21st successful landing, touching down precisely on the drone ship, a shortfall of gravitas. This marked the 99th successful touchdown on this particular drone ship and brought SpaceX's total booster landings to an astonishing 411. But the true significance of this launch transcended one booster's achievements. This mission officially marked the 450th flight of the Falcon rocket family, 439 Falcon 9 launches and 11 Falcon Heavy launches. When the rocket lifted off, it didn't just carry satellites, it carried the weight of history. SpaceX celebrated this remarkable achievement with characteristic understatement. A simple post on X, formerly Twitter, read, Falcon completes its 450th mission. Elon Musk added his own brief acknowledgement, 450 Falcon flights. These simple statements belie the revolution these launches represent. SpaceX has established dominance in the global launch market, outpacing even China, which ranks second in total launches. The gap between Falcon and competing systems grows wider with each successful mission. What makes this dominance possible? It's the combination of high-frequency launch capability, competitive pricing, and unparalleled flexibility. The Falcon family has become the most reliable, cost-effective launch system in history, capable of deploying anything from small satellites to lunar landers. And SpaceX is just warming up. The company has set a target of 180 Falcon flights for 2024 alone. If they maintain this pace, we could see the 500th or even 600th Falcon launch before year's end. Milestones that would cement SpaceX's place in aerospace history. Each launch also pushes records in booster reuse, with some rockets now flying well past 10 missions. This reusability transforms the economics of access to space making possible what was once merely science fiction. Starlink, the 8,000 satellite milestone. The primary beneficiary of Falcon's remarkable reliability has been SpaceX's own Starlink network. Just one day after the historic 450th Falcon mission on February 22nd at 8.38 p.m. Eastern, another Falcon 9 lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. This mission's booster, B-1082, completed its 11th successful landing on the drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, marking the 121st touchdown on this vessel and SpaceX's 412th Falcon booster landing overall. The payload? Another batch of 22 Starlink satellites, pushing the total number of Starlink satellites launched beyond 8,000. While some satellites have been deorbited after completing their service life, or experiencing failures. The active constellation now exceeds 7,000 operational units in orbit. This vast network is rapidly becoming the dominant presence in low Earth orbit, revolutionizing global connectivity. Starlink now provides high-speed, low-latency internet access to customers across all seven continents, including remote areas where traditional infrastructure cannot reach. The system has proven especially valuable during emergencies. During last year's Hurricanes Milton and Helen, Starlink terminals provided critical communications when ground-based systems failed. First responders could coordinate rescue efforts, families could contact loved ones, and emergency services maintained operational command and control. 
Beyond terrestrial applications, Starlink is set to play a crucial role in supporting future space missions. The upcoming Polaris Dawn mission, which will feature the first commercial spacewalk, will rely on Starlink for communications, demonstrating its versatility beyond Earth's surface. The rapid expansion of Starlink represents more than just a business success. It's creating the infrastructure that will support humanity's multi-planetary future. Every new batch of satellites strengthens the network that will eventually extend to the Moon and Mars. James Webb Telescope Budget Concerns Amid Scientific Triumph While SpaceX continues its meteoric rise, another cornerstone of space exploration faces an uncertain future. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye on the cosmos, may soon face substantial budget cuts, potentially up to 20% of its current funding. This concerning development was revealed by the telescope's management team at the 245th American Astronomical Society meeting in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. Tom Brown, leader of the Webb Mission Office at the Space Telescope Science Institute, addressed these looming financial challenges directly. NASA is having budget constraints across the entire board, so the Institute is being asked to consider a significant, about 20%, cut to our operational budget for the mission starting later this year. The impacts of that, if it comes to pass, pretty much cut across the entire mission. This year, NASA allocated $317 million for the combined operations of James Webb, Hubble, and Chandra telescopes. However, these budget reductions would not be exclusive to Webb. The aging Hubble Space Telescope is also facing funding constraints while the Chandra X-ray Observatory appears to be approaching the end of its operational life. Future cuts could become even more drastic, with Chandra's budget expected to drop to $41.1 million this year and potentially fall to just $5.2 million by 2029. Brown expressed profound concern about the situation at another conference. Frankly, this mission works far better than really most folks expected. It's extremely worrisome that while we're in the middle of the prime mission, we're also maybe looking at significant budget cuts. He emphasized that this is not a minor adjustment, but a severe financial constraint that could affect every aspect of Webb's operations. It's a huge cut. That's not kind of trying to nibble away at the edges that impacts everything across the board, all the way up to how many modes we're offering to the observers. The timing of these potential cuts is particularly troubling. Unlike Hubble, which has been in service for nearly 35 years, Webb is still in its prime, continuously delivering groundbreaking discoveries about the earliest galaxies, exoplanet atmospheres, and the formation of stars and planetary systems. Each week brings new revelations from Webb that reshape our understanding of the universe. Just recently, the telescope detected water vapor in the atmosphere of the smallest exoplanet yet, opening new possibilities in the search for potentially habitable worlds. It has captured the most detailed images ever of distant galaxies, revealing structures and formations never before seen by human eyes. To reduce Webb's capabilities now, when it's performing beyond expectations and revolutionizing multiple fields of astronomy, represents a challenge to scientific progress. The budget constraints reflect broader pressures on NASA's science missions as the agency balances competing priorities with limited resources. What makes this situation particularly complex is that Webb operates at L2, a gravitational balance point 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. Unlike Hubble, which was serviced multiple times by space shuttle missions, Webb cannot be physically repaired or upgraded. This means maintaining optimal software and operational procedures is critical to maximizing the telescope's scientific output during its limited lifespan. As we watch these developments unfold, from Starship's brief launch delay to Falcon's milestone flights, Starlink's growing constellation, and Webb's budget challenges, we're witnessing the evolution of humanity's relationship with space in real time. SpaceX continues to redefine what's possible turning science fiction into reality at a breathtaking pace. The slight delay of Flight 8 to February 28th isn't a setback, but a reminder of the meticulous attention to detail required when pushing boundaries. When Starship lifts off at the end of this month, it will mark another critical step toward establishing humanity as a multi-planetary species. What are your thoughts on these developments? 
Are you still eagerly waiting for Flight 8 despite the short delay? Do you believe the potential budget cuts to the James Webb Space Telescope are justified? Or should NASA prioritize keeping our premier space observatory fully funded? Share your perspective in the comments below. If you appreciate staying informed about SpaceX's latest achievements and space exploration news, support the channel by hitting the like button and subscribing to Elon Musk 24 hours. Turn on notifications so you don't miss our coverage of Starship Flight 8 when it launches. This is Elon Musk 24 hours, bringing you the future as it happens. Remember, the stars aren't just for looking at anymore, they're our destination. I'll see you in the next one.